Shane. Shane. Ah, I know, guys. I have games that I haven't even opened yet. The shame is real, guys. What is up? This is Los from the Big Retro Show. And today I'm gonna to be talking about games that I own that I never even opened, let alone played. Now I got this idea from One Up Woman. She recently did a video talking about all of the games that she owns but she has never played. And if you don't know about One Up Woman, you have to ask yourself, what are you doing with your life? Guys, go and check her out. She is one of the funniest, most creative creators out there and she definitely deserves a subscribe so go and check her out but you know if you guys are anything like me you guys buy tons of video games and sometimes you don't have the time to play them all but you can't pass up on the deals right you always got to go for the great deals and you always got to get those video games for dirt cheap prices and so the games that i'm about to show you right now are mostly ps4 sprinkled with some xbox one games and for some reason or the other, I have never even opened these games, and that is my shame, which I'm going to share with you. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about this game. This is Sunset Overdrive. This is one of the early games of the Xbox One, and I picked it up for, gosh, I want to say from Best Buy for like $10. And for some reason or the other, I, you know, I never played it. Um, it looks like a fun game and you know I do want to play it I just I've always had other things that I've wanted to play ahead of it and so I've never played it now obviously um, don't have any gameplay footage hopefully I can uh, put some trailer footage of Sunset Overdrive in there so that you guys don't have to look at my stupid face uh, throughout this whole video but anyway, Sunset Overdrive. Now, if you guys have played any of these games, let me know in the comments. Let me know what I must play. This is just the first of many. Next up is Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, this is a game that everybody talks about in the uh, PlayStation community. And this is a game that I've also wanted to play. I just never had the opportunity to do it. And you guys will probably hear that a lot throughout this video. So I'm just giving you a fair warning. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is one of these games that is a blockbuster for the PS4, but I just can't bring myself to open this. And I don't really know why. Maybe I should just get this game digitally and just download it so I don't have to open it. Next up, I have Bloodstained. And this is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Um, again, this is one of these games that I bought. I think I picked it up for $30 at GameStop. It is sealed. It is brand new. I've seen a lot of you guys out there play this game. I think I saw Gaming Off The Grid stream it and other people review it and stuff like that. But it's a Castlevania clone essentially, Symphony of the Night inspired. And it is the second game of the, uh, uh, of the Bloodstained series. Of course, there was a game called Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. And uh, I have that also, but I have that di digitally. And so I wanted to get a physical copy of this game because I thought it looked neat. I thought, um, you know, it's heavily inspired by Castlevania. So I thought I would enjoy it and I picked it up, but I never played it. Next up, I have Mega Man 11. And I showcased this game in a recent pickups video. It was one of the only games that I got from GameStop uh, having their wonderful deals that was sealed. And so uh, <laughs> this was the only one in the lot. The others didn't even come with the original case. And so this was my one win for the lot. Mega Man 11, you guys know it, you guys love it. You guys have been playing Mega Man since the days of the NES and so have I. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I never opened this game is because it's probably just gonna be the same game where you, you, know, you go into different worlds, you beat the different monsters or robots or whatever, and then you gain the powers to go and beat some more. So, yeah, this is Mega Man 11. I will get to this game and uh, I will probably enjoy it because I love the Mega Man games. Next up, I have Man Eater for the PS4. This is also a game that I saw many of you guys streaming. I saw a Speedy stream and he did a review of it and it was pretty funny. Um, this game is, you know, it's you're a shark and you're out there on the rampage. You know, you're attacking different marine animals, you're attacking different people. Yeah, gain stronger. It's got some RPG-like elements to it as well. And, you know, I'm a big fan of the Jaws movies, and so this is right up my alley. 
this Maneater game. And again, uh, just never got around to opening it. But, um, you know, if you guys have played this game, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if it's worth opening. Next up, I have Vampire for the Xbox One. Uh, this is a game that my actually my 12-year-old wanted to buy. And uh, we saw it at GameStop, but it was a pretty bad shape. And so um, one of these days I found a deal for this game and I figured, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Um, I didn't even tell my daughter that I picked it up because she's the one that originally wanted to play it. And uh, yeah, it just sat, it sat in my shelf and it was never opened. Um, not too much of a vampire fan. I'm more of a zombie guy, but um, I do like a good vampire game here and there. Um, and so, yeah, this is another game that i uh, never played. Next up, I have Contra Rogue Corps. And this is the new Contra game. It's, it's uh, one of these games that has really split the community, has really split the community. Some people love it, some people hate it. I know Turbo Joe is a big fan of this game, and I saw him play it a little bit on his channel, and he said to give it a fair shake, and so you know what? I trust my friends and uh, I'm gonna give this game a fair shake as soon as I finish opening it, which I haven't done, obviously. Next up, I have Onimusha for the Xbox One. Now there's a story behind this game. I used to have Onimusha for the PS2. Um, I got to a part where there was this puzzle that I just couldn't solve and I lost the patience for it. And it was very early on in the game. And so, you know, I just put it down and I never picked it back up. And so that's why I wanted to pick up this game because I want to conquer that damn puzzle, okay? I need to conquer that puzzle. Um, lest I get my gamer card reviewed. I hate puzzles like this in games. I don't know why developers do this, but this is one that has it in there and I gave up on it. But now I need to redeem myself and I need to open this game and I need to play it and beat that puzzle. Only a Musha. Next up, I have The Man of Medan. Um, don't know too much about this game. I know I saw a couple of people play this game. Um, yeah, it's a horror game, I guess. It's, it has to do with The Man of Medan, whoever the hell that is. And, and uh, yeah, it looks like an interesting game. I got it for dirt cheap off of Best Buy. I picked it up and figured you know what I'm gonna play one of these days where it's, it's nice and dark in my house and I can get scared off of it and I uh, just I never did I never did next up I have Just Cause 4 for the PS4 a lot of these games are for the PS4 for some reason or the other the PS4 games are are more affordable than the other games out there um, well that's not exactly true Xbox one games are affordable too but uh, Just Cause 4, I have this game and I got it free from the Epic Game Store. And if you don't know about the Epic Game Store, they are always giving out free games and this is one of the games that they gave out. But I started playing it and I stopped playing it because right now we are undergoing a heat wave in California and it is hella hot in my retro cave. And so I just couldn't bear to be in here much longer playing this game in the heat. And so I figured since my PS4 is inside, I'll pick this up for dirt cheap and start playing it on the PS4, Just Cause 4. I love the play mechanics in this game so far. So um, I guess I get kind of a pass with this game even though it's not open, because I have played it, right? Right? No? Okay, that's fine. Two more games for you to talk about. I have Control. Well, I don't have control over my backlog, but I have the game Control and that's just good enough, right? Right? So Control is a game that I've also seen a lot of you guys play on streams and talk about on YouTube and I've always wanted to play this game. I think this is probably, out of all of the ones that I have showcased so far, this one and the next one are probably the ones that I'm gonna open and play sooner rather than later because this is a game that's right up my alley. It's a third person adventure game. You got elements where you guys you use force like powers and things like that. And the only reason I know this is because I've, I've been watching this game on YouTube for a while. And you know, it came up for like 19 bucks. I got it from Best Buy. Um, was it Best Buy? I don't remember. But um, I got it and now I have the opportunity to play it. This is Control. And last but not least, I got The Avengers for the PS4. A lot of people have been telling me about this game. And, and uh, you know, some people like it, some people hate it. There are like 
RPG elements to it and stuff like that. It's a beat em up and there's a lot of exploration out there. I've been watching Shinobi uh, Nando play this game quite a bit. He did a review of it too. And you know, I've always told him, look, I love this video. I'm probably gonna end up getting this game. My daughter is a big Marvel fan and so she's probably gonna be the first one to play this game uh, in this house. And so the Avengers, yeah, I mean, what's not to love the Avengers? Obviously this is not the Avengers that we know from the movies. These are like, uh, I guess I don't want to say generic Avengers because you know they're Avengers anyways. But um, yeah, this is a, an Avengers game, and I want to I want to get into this game, and I know that this is going to require a lot of time. I, I really love the the PS4 Spider-Man game, which was an awesome game, and uh, I hope that this game is equally as awesome as that. Well, guys, that is about it. Those are the games that I own that are still sealed that I have never played. Now this is a community tab. You guys need to make response videos and keep this tag going because I know that you guys have games uh, in your collections that are still sealed and that you have never played. For some reason or the other, it's just what gamers do, right? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up drop me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you didn't like this video give it a thumbs down drop me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel I would like to thank one up woman for giving me this idea this awesome idea and I will see you next time on the big retro show peace